Hi, 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 I'm Y. I'm Y Woods Harris, and just thinking about some of the things that God has blessed me to do today, and that's to catch a couple of business webinars, and one of the speakers talked about how important it is to speak your own uh, encouragement. Speak your own encouragement. So you know, as a part of uh, Wise Wise Grief Community Advocacy 2020, that just really resonated with me today. And one of the other things that I heard is the word spark. I read about spark. I read that word. And so as I am focusing on five things this week, five things this week that God has given me uh, the ability and the availability to complete, I thought I would talk about how I have fresh spark and faith focus. Fresh spark and faith focus. A five word title that really talks about how God is continuing to bless in spite of situations that may not sound good, may not feel good, but he continues to bless. And so as I have finished today, one of the grief sessions that uh, I have been attending in the Reimagine sessions and series, I wanted to talk today about something that I remember that I wrote about, and that's how faith brings us to the front of the line. How faith brings us to the front of the line. Yes, I am just going through the ways that God has blessed me, even in times when I felt like uh, this was very heavy on me. It appeared that I was lifted up by something someone said or something that someone did, some action. Uh, and I'm always uh, aware of the prayer conference that I'm a part of. And sometimes I will get on very early and I will pray and read a scripture and then listen for the rest of the session. And today was just a day of praise, today of praise of things that had happened to uh, the prayer participants, uh, my warriors and my witnesses and my voices is what I call them, but things that had happened to them. And I really left the prayer session just feeling good and having a smile on my face. Got up, put on a little lipstick because that always helps me and my earrings. And I got those on, have on my redemption shirt that tells me I am a part of the redemption church. And these are all the things that brings that spark to me. So spark is my word today. Fresh spark. Oh yeah, fresh spark. Uh, fresh, freshness that tells you that you are who God says you are. Yes, you are who God says you are and you are whose God uh, says you are. So I am just excited today as I get in this five minutes of video. Uh, a word that I'm speaking that came from my accountability coach today. So she mentioned that she was a virtual vessel of which she is. And it just sparked me to get on and to say to those that are in grief, and if when you hear this, when you hear this, that I'm talking about encouragement, I'm talking about using the gifts that God has given you to do what he has asked you to do, what he has purpose for you to do. So my fresh spark for today is keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. If you are a coach, if you are a mentor, 
if you are a minister, if you are a uh, pastor, if you are a prayer warrior, I got five things in there. Those are the sparks that I want you to start today. I am just excited about how God is using each day to lift us up. Uh, each day he will give us a new part of our dream and our vision to move forward. So I'm just going to tell you again, yes, God's redeeming grace. Look how far God has brought us, each one of us. And I say that to you as we go con continue to stay on this grief community advocacy role. I say to you, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day full of spark. That's all for me today.